Welcome to my channel. In last video, we talk about this number, and I say if the number is lower than the number given in the instruction book, we may have a leak, exhaust valve, or a poor a cylinder liner or a poor piston rings. So if the if we measure the compression pressure and read the scavenge pressure on the intake or uh, in, in the scavenge manifold we can we can check the engine performance or and the engine condition main engine condition so I want to tell one last thing about it. The um, when we measure the maximum pressure or the ignition ignition pressure ignition pressure. Mm, this one is this one equals this, and uh, why do we? measure that pressure because we can check the engine performance too these two pressure this one pressure if the pressure is too high too high we know that the uh, the injection Injection time is too early. When this pressure is too low, lower than other cylinders, we know the injection time is too late. Too late. But we, uh, if the pressure is high, that's the usual condition. The problem is the injection time too early. But if the pre ignition pressure is too low, there may be another another reason. The other reason is the air in the cylinder in the cylinder is not cylinder is not enough to combust the fuel combust the fuel or the nozzle uh, the nozzle does not have a fine atomization so how can we check that or or I don't know how to say it. Um, so how can we know which reason which reason is the correct reason? We can check the compression pressure. If this pressure is normal, is good, then the air in the cylinder is enough. So, if we have a low ignition pressure and we have a fine compression pressure, we should look for, we should check the ignition time or the igni injection nozzle. We should try check these two things, and uh, that's all about the cylinder pressure measurement. And thank you for all of you. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe and comment. Stay tuned, and I will see you next time.